address the concerns of local people. Nationally, the government's policies are turning the economy around from the dire place that it's left in by Labour. And there is more to do, and uh, they're doing a good job at it. Of course, locally in rural, we have a budget, and uh, yeah. the cabinet papers a while ago spoke about bad budgets. Some of the main points are 
as well as Jeff, assisting the over 70 as you read the bill, assisting the over 70 and helping the elderly in our community by allowing them the financial support of 7.6% discount on their council tax and alleviating some of the financial pressures. This budget brings back the no charge for parking after three, which will assist with giving our retailers a kick start by increasing the flow of customers and assisting our small shopkeepers financially, as it did before this stupid charge was brought in. Figures have shown our small retailers are suffering because of the parking charges, and residents and schools are concerned about the removal of the school crossing controls. This budget reinstates that on the service, all those concerned. And watching the clock, please. Have you finished in real time? Have you finished? I'll finish off. Very I therefore propose the afternoon. Councillor George Davis. Sorry, before we do that, yeah, would you like to. Point of order. Councillor Hoffman has been listening. I said I was an ex trade union representative in my previous employment. I only speak with more audacious, you know, to present an argument supporting keeping full time trade union officials of the council by asking one more. Councillor George Davis, thank you. Can we listen to the speaker, please? Thank you, Mr. Mayor. Council Pitt Green states social and the will to have comprehensive investments in house building programmes. Plan for the next two years. You point out that the care for living expect to complete 356 properties between 2014 and 16. But I would like to hear that the chair and answer his question, which was, <coughs> will the existing plans of RSL the cost bill be sufficient to address the housing needs? The answer is quite simply no. Prior to the last election, significant sustained investment has been made available through the 10 to 15 year old term regeneration program HRI to tackle the endemic issues surrounding low demand areas. While significant progress was made, these sites have now stored that the investments have not been forthcoming to finish off the original master plans for the areas. These sites continue to be stored to undermine the area and progress made in the area of phasing of the investment. Therefore, some form of investment program needs to be targeted to finish the original regeneration projections for these neighborhoods. Current new build housing target is 570 dwellings based on the 2010 strategic housing market assessment, NAP 2015, including 234 units for market housing. And 336 per year for affordable housing. <coughs> the current HTA affordable housing program will see over a five year period from 210 to 15 an average of 210 units per year for affordable housing. Therefore, there is a need to support more new housing for affordable homes in the world. The two HMRI sites. At Church Road Tramia and Five Ways in Not Pleasant are sites we would like to affect the start on, as these have been installed as a result of economic downturn and the inability of people to access mortgages and deposits. <coughs> the sites involve over 270 new units of accommodation to be delivered. House building has fallen to a historical all time low under the Tories nationally, and Labour recognises the importance. The house building brings in kickstarting a local economy. Not only will this project address the housing shortage on will, it will serve to create new skilled employment, and this will be specifically targeted at the young people struggling to find employment after three wasted years of no growth and rising prices in the Tory led government. I just want to sort of finish by, yeah. I just want to answer the question a bit. Um, the, the Stuart uh, asked a question <coughs> about the 1.5 million and, and it worked out roughly around about 15k to each. But realistically, most of the government of all colours have all of that is the grant system. And the grant system allows the RSL or the council to bid 
the affordable housing grant. That's been because what I'm saying is I've asked officers to go away, think of <coughs> a way of bringing the scheme back, which will allow 15,000 pounds to be used as a grant for each one of those people. So in other words, make a copy out of the 15. That way we will create one hundred more.
which the seller will not allow or enable them to represent themselves, or, from a company and management point of view, the fact that it would be impossible within large organisations to carry out negotiations and conditions of pay <coughs> uh, directly with every employee. However, in these austere times, it neither seems right or fair <coughs> that we the taxpayer fully subsidise the wage of full time union officials within the council employee. This seems even more than just when we consider that general secretaries who have different unions in a wage well in excess of £100,000 a year, which show the driven cars, and ridiculously also in bonuses like some high flying city banker. Where is the transparency in that? This indicates to me. This indicates. Please, please, just let it speak. Let's stop you from even being paid inside. Out of the box, just look at the light. Yeah, I'm wide open. This to me indicates the amount of money within the union coffers, and I believe that it's high time that we review this coming practice and how we sat the pay for. Mr. Mayor, I commend the Conservative Amendment.
actually 